August the 13th. That, we have learned, was the date on which Haku Ho had the operation which has definitely ruled him out of September. He's not even able to squat yet, said Coach Miyagino. His knee was so bad, the doctor said it was a miracle he'd been fighting on it. Hakuho will be continuing with his treatment for now, and might just be ready for November. September the 10th, the day on which Coach Michinoku had the talk with Kakuryu. Their bond is extra special because they had the same stable master. 24 years ago, the late Izutsu Oyakata had the talk with Michinoku saying it would be more honourable for an ex-Ozeki to retire than drop into Division 2. Now, after 13 withdrawals from 22 tournaments, Michinoku has a similar message for Kakuryu. Get it right in November, or honourably retire. We understand the Yokozuna's right elbow has still not recovered, and that he keenly wants to test himself at other stables before returning to competition. His injuries will never 100% heal, Michinoku believes. He's got to accept that, fight with what he has, and if it's still no good, then it's time to think things over. The answer should become clear to him next tournament. September the 11th, the day on which the loss of both Yokozuna handed top billing on Sunday's fight card to the Ozeki. Asanoyama against Endo and Taka Keisho against defending champion Tedono Fuji. I'm ready to fight the top guys whenever, said a bouncing Tedono Fuji. Everybody likes to think they have a chance for the title, and it will come down to who tried his hardest and who kept in the best condition. His coach, Isega Hama, cautioned against sky-high expectations, noting Teru's old injuries have not completely healed, and instead urged the two Ozeki to lead the title race. September the 11th, also the day on which the final four of the 19 infected Tamanoi stable wrestlers were transferred to local hospitals. Only those who tested negative remain in the stable, the situation a jarring reminder of how not normal things are. Chief Judge Isegahama confirmed that they will be given some kind of special dispensation when their new ranks are decided post-tournament. And September the 11th, the day on which Coach Tokitsukaze was suspended from tournament duties for breaking virus prevention rules. We don't know exactly where he's been without permission, it looks like a minor infringement, but it is embarrassing, given he is supposed to set examples for Nakagawa Oyakata, transferred under his wing after mismanaging his previous stable. Okay, enough of the gossip and on with the fighting, and this time I promise to bring you some fighting. See you Sunday! <laughs>